Hey folks, That Fix It Guy here. And a little while back, I did a video for a manufactured air gap for your dishwasher. Well, today I wanna to show you another option for plumbing in that drain line to your dishwasher. It's actually called a high loop. Okay, this may not be code in all states, so you definitely wanna check your local plumbing code before you go ahead and do this version. But man, it works just as good in my opinion. All right, it's not 100% effective, as far as keeping sewage out of your dishwasher. But to me, I think it's going to work. It's going to be a very rare circumstance that you're going to get sewage back in your dishwasher using a high loop. So join me today as I walk you through this. I'm going to do a little drawing. Don't judge. And come along. Let's get to fixing. All right, so we're trying to get this. Okay, so you look at this. One thing that's wrong, actually I see two things that are wrong. Right away, look underneath here. I already did this a little while back. That's good. I had to come back for this. This right here, this drain, your garbage disposal drain should not be sitting on the ground like that. It really needs an air gap. And he doesn't have an air gap drilled in this countertop and I don't want to drill it for him right now. So what we're going to do is just to make it good hooked up for right now, we're going to do what's called a high loop. So we're actually going to take this and we're going to disconnect right here. We're going to make that line go up high and then come and connect right here. And that is going to be a much better thing. If you put that line way up high, that's going to ensure that if the sink stops up, that garbage or sewage does not go back into your dishwasher, okay? You would want one of these. You're either gonna want a high loop or an air gap. Depending on what state you're in, what the code is, you're gonna need an air gap. But some states only require a high loop. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Then I'm also gonna show you one other thing. This right here, bad install. Man, this contractor, dude, he did all kinds of good stuff here. This, eventually, use it enough times, put some stuff in it, make it vibrate. This whole thing can eventually vibrate loose and drop to the ground. I've seen it happen too many times. So, what we'll do is, I'll zoom in. We're just going to go right up here. I grab some big 440s. Go right here. Squeeze that together until it clicks. And it's gonna click, and it clicks, and it makes sure there's no gap right there. That you wanna do whenever you install any garbage disposal. Just make sure that you grab this and click. Let me take that back. When you install any incinerator type disposal, if you install one this way with this kind of flange, then you wanna make sure that you clip that together. I've been going what seems like for days at this point, a little disheveled, so I had to borrow a countertop screwdriver. He just had this sitting on his counter, and I'm like, oh, that's gonna work perfect. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop this off. that undone right there okay before we do anything else want to make sure you get some water out of here because it's sitting on the ground like that there's going to be some water Nasty, nasty water, right? It's coming from your dishwasher, your dishwasher drain hose. Of course, it's going to be nasty. Um, so let's kind of pull it out of the cabinet here, get it as low as it'll go. Mm, looks like a little bit of chicken, a couple bits of broccoli. Yum. Let's 
So then let's see here. Take this back here. Get back behind here. up like so and then we'll bring it around and tie it back in okay so just get it plugged back in you're gonna have to finagle this around you could do it you know any which way you can I'm not gonna tighten this yet because the chances are I'm gonna move it a little bit right but what I want to do is I want to get that up and get it secured as high as I can. And that'll be good. So then we'll get that situated. That's going to be good right where it's setting. Get this put back in place. Okay, that's hooked up. So we're gonna get back up in here. I have a conduit clamp with a screw and we're gonna take this and we're gonna screw this up as high as we possibly can. So. What's up, dude? Hello, man. Not much. Just drinking. Trying to get this one last little thing hooked up. Okay. Ah. Of course. Well, at least everything landed on my phone. <laughs> Had to go do a little screw exchange. Got this little bad boy. And let's just get it started again like before. Much better. Okay, get that bad boy off of there, started. Get this up to the top of the cabinet. Get that started in that hole. Sorry, this is not my ideal situation here, but getting it hooked up, it's good to go. You can see it's, it's out of the way. Everything else is gonna work and we've created a high loop. This is up almost to the very top of the cabinet. You know, there's just that couple inches right there um, that I wouldn't be able to get to anywhere in this cabinet because this sink is so deep. Oh, uh, check that out. So it's good to go. It's up there. It's secure. It's not coming off of its little perch and we're back in place. Let's give it a test. Okay, so right now we're actually filling this up. We're fill right now we're filling up the dishwasher. We're gonna give it a drain. We wanna test it because we took this piece off. We wanna make sure there's no leaks. Uh, let me zoom in here. 
you guys can see this dishwasher connection. They make some a lot smaller than this, but it works, I guess. <laughs> it's so funny, man. How many wonky things can somebody do in one house? Blows my mind. All right, so we're just about getting filled up here. Looking good, works well, and we've created a high loop. All right, remember, I'm no artist, but let's give this a go. Dishwasher, dishwasher, faucet, faucet, okay, and then garbage disposal, garbage disposal. So, I've showed you the video of the air gap setup, right? This comes out of the cabinet next to your dishwasher, comes up to here, little air gap on top that connects to, and then this just goes right on around in here and connects to your disposal. Simple, that's the way the air gap setup is, right? And this is to make sure that sewage doesn't go back into here. So with the high loop setup, you've watched me do it, but I just wanted to explain a little bit more just because I know it's hard to see. And you just bring this, curl it up, and tie it around up here. And you fasten it somewhere up here. Just make sure you can screw it to the back of the cabinet, get into some wood. I'll put those clips in the description box below. Those little conduit clips, like just a one-hole clip, three-quarter inch, they work perfect for this because this is a three-quarter inch drain hose, essentially. And that's good to rock and roll. Like, you just do that, hook it up, and that is another way to do it. Okay? Okay, folks, the thought process behind an air gap or the high loop is to prevent back siphonage of sewer or drain water actually going back into your dishwasher. Okay, nobody wants that nasty mess going into the dishwasher. And the way that my friend's setup was right now, it totally would have went in there. Had he actually had a major stop up and those two sinks started filling up, you're going to get sewer water down in there and you're going to have a bunch of standing water down in the bottom of your dishwasher. So if you have standing water at the bottom of your dishwasher, there's a good chance that you actually don't have a high loop in there. All right, check that out. I really hope this video helps. If you guys could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button. We are just trying to help people out and we really hope that we're doing that. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.